Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to do a complete example of Neo4j usage. We are going to install that with Docker. We are going to use that directly with Neo4j desktop, and we are going to program a client using Node.js programming language. So let's execute each step and see how it works. And don't worry to copy anything. All the code we are going to utilize is in this video description. So let's start. The first thing we are going to do is to create the container. For this purpose, we are going to execute this Docker instruction. Basically, downloading and installing a container based in Neo4j image. We are going to name that Neo4j container. We are going to remap some ports to the ones that are not the standard ones. So these two ports here, this one is the one we are going to connect directly in the client. This one is for answer with HTTP requests, both need to be mapped. Here we are going to say it's going to be, be executed detached, it means like a service, okay, in background we can interact with that. And then several volumes are defined in the, in the way we can drop, delete this container and recreate and the data is to be preserved. A very important point here is the username and password. Here we have the username, here we have the password, and these credentials we are going to utilize for connecting. So you probably are, are going to change that later on. Okay, with this instruction here, you just press enter, and now your container was created, and you can double check executing this instruction here and see we have here the Neo4j container running. Now Let's go to the next step. Neo4j Desktop is one of the most popular desktop tools for interacting with Neo4j database server. When we install that, it already brings to you a Neo4j server locally, so you can interact with that. But it's not exactly what you want to do. You want to connect in one remote, server in our case it's local but it's running docker so it could be running in anywhere else okay how to connect that basically you have then to open the tool it's this the first screen the standard screen from the tool and then we are going to say we want to add a new database and here we're going to say no i don't want to connect to the local one but i want to connect in one remote one clicking here we just have to change the port the port we have created with with the Container, so instead of 7, 8, next, and now the username and password, the ones who are, were defined when we executed the Docker instruction. So standard username and the standard password. Okay, so not encrypted because we have just a simple installation without certificate, and I'll save. Doing that, it's going to prepare the connection, it has identified that the connection exists, and then we can ask for connecting, and now it's active. And then we can open that to start to play with our database that's running in the container. Do you see? Now we are using a client to connect in the server we have just created using Docker. Now, next step, interacting here, writing some Cypher instructions. Okay, here is the screen. It was automatically opened when we connected in one Neo4j server, and now we are going to execute some instructions. The first instruction we are going to create is to create one node. Remember, Neo4j is a graph database, so composed of nodes and the relationship between nodes. So the first node we are going to create is a person and has one special name that it's you. So imagine it's exactly you that is seeing this video. So we create this node. Then we are going to create another node. This another node is also from the type person, from the tag person, and its name is not you, it's someone else. Now we have two persons created in our graph database, so two nodes. And now we want another kind of node, okay? It's a node as well, but this time 
it's not from the tag from the type channel person it's the type channel okay it has his name talking about computer science the channel you are seeing now and now we create that now we have a database with three nodes and now what we are going to do now we are going to do one of most nice things from Neo4j. We are going to create one relationship between nodes. Here is the relationship we are going to create. We are going to select one person where the name is you. We are going to select one channel, which the name is talking about computer science. And we are going to create one relationship from the type subscriber. And the subscribers is going to be called friend. It's be going to be assigned to a variable friend. And then this relationship is going to be created based on these two previous nodes we have previously created in the database. So just executing that. And now we have created this relationship of subscriber between these two nodes. And the last step we are going to do, we are going now to perform a carry. We are going now to execute this instruction here in which I'm going to filter all the friends I have that are the persons that are subscribed to this channel. Executing that, it's like a select in the in a SQL database. And here we have you as a friend that are subscribed to this specific channel here, right? Now, let's go to the last step of this video, where we are going to use a Node.js client to connect in this database and extract data from here. Here it is, the node client that's going to connect in the database we have just created with Docker and we have just filled data with Neo4j desktop. Very small code, right? Basically, you have to install this dependence with npm in your node um, environment, okay? And you also have to do that, just do the following, okay? Import this driver. Here, put your credentials. This is my credentials. Here, config, configure your port. This is the exact port we have, have utilized. And here is the exact instruction I have less executed, in which we have seen the graph in the Neo4j desktop. OK. So here, we connect in the database, the standard database name is this one, and execute this carry. And then the result is going to be printed in our console. And then we are going to close the connection. So let's see if we can really connect from this client in our database. Okay, let's run this code. And here it is. You can see one node named you, one another node, node named channel, okay, with this name. And we have also the relationships from subscriber in which each link you with talking about computer science channel okay it's just one simple interaction but from here you can do what you want you can implement rest web server you can implement um, window from user interface and everything you want to do interacting with this data work with cypher was a very nice experience right we can use this language to create nodes, creating relationships, and directly in this Neo4j database that was created for this purpose. My goal here was to guide you from the installation from the server using Docker to the consumption of this data using a programming language like Node.js. So I hope you can enjoy this content. You can use that in some personal project you are doing on, or at least to explore and understand more about these technologies. So thank you for your attention, thank you for watching, and see you next time.